have noticed a definite increase in acceleration. Hmm. What do you think? I've seen a lot of videos and a lot of text claiming that just by removing this, you're going to gain a lot of power. So Honda from factory is restricting the bike's performance by putting this in. And why would they do that? So this got me thinking, I want to see some numbers, but I don't have a dyno myself either. But we can do the next best thing, at least in my opinion. So today we're not going to do any ass dyno test. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to say how it feels, how it sounds, how it anything like that. We're just going to look at what the numbers are telling us. And by the end of this video, I hope you learn something. I hope I do. So this is how I'm going to do the test, just quickly. I'm going to do eight different runs. Four runs with the stock bike and four runs without the snorkel in the bike. I'm going to do those runs in the straightest stretch of road that I can find. I'm going to do the east run first, then I'm going to come back, I'm going to do the west run, and then I'm going to repeat. Why I'm doing it this way is I'm going to try to minimize the wind resistance, and because I do the run on the same surface, on the same road, from the same spot, each direction, I'm going to minimize all the undulation that there might be on the road, even small ones. And I want to minimize the effect of the rider, so myself. I'm going to stay at the same position on each run, so there's the same wind resistance, as much as I can do that. And I'm not going to do any gear changes. So, so we're going to do each run on the fifth gear. I'm going to start the run from 40 kilometers an hour. I'm going to start clocking the run at 50 kilometers an hour. And then we're going to stop at 130 kilometers an hour. And we're going to take a few times in between those speeds. So hopefully you'll stick with me on this video. I know this is a bit technical video and it's not that much fun. But this is a question that needs to be answered, in my opinion. So let's get to the test. They are not going to take that long. I hope you watch all of them because the video is not going to perform if you don't. <laughs> but you can skip if you want. But let's see how the pike performs on each run and then try to find out if it's really worth it to remove that part. So let's get out there and do the tests. And let's get rid of that intake snorkel. In theory, there should be a lot more airflow without the snorkel in the box. I let the bike idle for 15 minutes without the snorkel on to let the ECU get used to the difference. Test site is about 10 kilometers from here, so there's a lot of riding too.
as a disclaimer, a couple of things. First, I'm not saying this is a highly scientific method to measure the differences, but this is what I could do at this time. Second, this was just to test if only removing the snorkel has a measurable difference in power or acceleration. I'm not saying that this is not beneficial combined with other power mods like ECU and exhaust. Okay, let's throw the numbers in the Excel sheet and see the results. The milliseconds go to zero after 60, so keep that in mind. During the east run there was probably a small decline because the west runs were always a little bit slower. When I was doing the test I had a feeling that the bike was struggling to reach 130 without the snorkel on, so the bike actually felt slower. And I think the numbers are saying the same thing. Most of the other numbers are pretty much the same. Looks like there's not much difference. But when we look at the 130 result, most of the time without the snorkel, we are getting a slower speed. So were you surprised about those results? Because I was a little surprised myself. I didn't think the bike would be slower, especially on the higher speed stuff. But I guess it looks like the snorkel is there for a reason. So I'm not going to take off mine, at least until I do some other power mods. So I hope you learned something from this video. You can just uh, bash me in the comments if you think that this was useless, but uh, I think I learned something. At least I know that this zero euro mod is completely useless, in my opinion at least. I didn't see any benefit in any of those speeds. It was either it was the same pretty much all exactly the same or it was slower at this highest speed stuff what i will say though the bike did produce a lot more intake sound so you can definitely hear the difference and i have my suspicion that most of those people that are saying that the bike is faster after this mod are saying it because the bike produces more sound it's just a placebo effect so before I see any other results like this, done with the dyno or anything like that, I'm gonna go with this one. So I hope this was useful because I didn't find any actual testing about this subject. I made this video for you guys and for myself. So now I know I can run the snorkel all I want and the bike is fine, it's running okay. <laughs> see you on the next videos and please press the thumbs up on this video and uh, Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content. So, bye.